Do you just live in a Fuddruckers now? Mentally, I am always in a Fuddruckers. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Julia Tries Everything, our final season. We are at the world's greatest hamburger spot, Fuddruckers, and we are about to try burgers, 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 and a little bit of chicken sandwiches, a little bit of vegan options, milkshakes, and then burgers, burgers, burgers. We're going to have a burger extravaganza. My body is not prepared, but never has been, so should we just go? Yeah? Okay, great. <laughs> All right, if you've never been to a Fuddruckers before, it's a little bit different than any other restaurant we've been to because you actually go up and you order up here. You go and pick up the food order, then you bring your food over here, and then you get to top it however you would like. Something that's extremely important is the unlimited cheese sauce. You can get regular cheese sauce or you can get jalapeno cheese sauce. It is it's part of the experience. If you don't get the cheese sauce, you're not fully living your Fuddruckers dream. So this place is special to me for several reasons, but I'll keep it to two. This was my great grandmother's favorite restaurant. Every single time she came into town, she would want to come to Fuddruckers. My other favorite thing about being here is that when I applied to work at Delish, the last question on my edit test was, describe your favorite burger just open-ended, describe your favorite burger. So I went into the most intense detail about Fuddruckers cheeseburgers. <laughs> and it was like, it was like a love ballad about Fuddruckers. And I got the job, so I have to thank Fuddruckers to some level for that. I have a roll of paper towels ready to go. And it's a, nece it's a necess necessity. Um, at every single table, you will find a roll of them, and they are required for eating here. We have the brown sugar bacon burger. That is brown sugar, black pepper bacon, sliced cheddar cheese, grilled onions, and barbecue sauce. And we got the waffle fries. As you will see on this entire round, we have a different type of fry. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. You have six different types of fries that you can choose from. Oh my god. We need to have a moment of silence for the bread that they bake here every single day. It is fresh. And the best part about it, let me see if I can show it on here. They grill it and there's butter on it. So it's really crispy and buttery on one side and soft and pillowy on the other. You put your finger into it and it leaves an indent. That's how plushy it is. The burger is juicy, flavorful, gorgeous. The one thing I'm loving about this one is that the fried onions are giving like this really great crunch to it. And then the bacon is super salty. So as you're eating this, you want to just keep going back for more. Let me try one of their waffle fries as well. They do have their own spice mix. I wonder if they put that on here. It's the right amount of fried, mm. but still plushy. Still has that little bit of pillowy softness on the inside, but the crunchy exterior. Wow, we started out way too strong. The Hangover Burger has a fried egg, smokehouse bacon, and American cheese. Ooh, wait, so it's a fried egg, so th there's not gonna be a yolk break, right? Oh! <gasps> there is a yolk break. <laughs> <laughs> wow, uh... easily amused. This is a good time for me to mention that there is the whole accoutrement station that I could be going to and adding a bunch of things to these burgers. I'm going to have them just plain and simple how they are served to you before you add everything on so that I can give you the flavor profile without having like the lettuce, tomato, onion trying to distract me from it. But all of these would be even better with those things added. Okay, Let's the hangover see. burger. Ugh. Well, you know, we did go out last night. So this <laughs> might be the... Because there's so much yolk in here, it's very rich and creamy tasting. And the American cheese is also very creamy. And it's giving it more of a subtle flavor where the first burger we had was much more in your face, salty, umami bomb, where this one is a little bit more relaxing. Mm -hmm. Do you dip onion rings in anything? Or do you just eat I them? I sometimes do. I do it in ketchup, but I, I don't mm. think. Do we have ketchup? Ketchup onion ring? Yeah. Okay. I'll take your word for it. See? That's a good crunch. What we see before us is the Tex-Mex, which has fresh avocado, smokehouse bacon, 
and pepper jack cheese. Oh, <laughs> don't these look like model avocado slices? Like they're ready for their close up shot. This one I'm feeling might be dry compared to the other ones. Something about it isn't reading moist and wet and juicy. <laughs> very fresh and cooling and refreshing at first, but that pepper jack cheese packs an actual green bell pepper type punch to it. I will say that this one definitely would need some lettuce, tomato. It needs like a honey mustard sauce maybe. Oh wait, I have honey mustard sauce right here. One of my favorites for sure. Honey mustard just hits the spot. Okay, let's see if, let's see if that's the right option. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Now it's got more of a zesty tang going on. Yeah, that's adding to it. It definitely needs a sauce to just amp it up a little bit. Okay, speaking of sauces, we have our sweet potato fries. I'm pro sweet potato fries. I know some people are like, ew, sweet potatoes. I'm like, What's, why, why do we hate them so much? They're great. I love them. They're wonderful. They're almost there. They need to be, honestly, I think a little bit thinner or just fr like an extra round of frying on them but it's almost there. We have the hubba hubba smokehouse burger, hickory smoked aioli, smokehouse bacon, mild cheddar cheese, and the wedge fries. It's the classic fry that you get while you're here. I don't like it. I'm just gonna tell you guys straight up, the wedge fries aren't for me. The only thing that makes a wedge fry good is adding cheese to it. Like otherwise, okay. otherwise it's really just not worth your time, but I'll do it for you guys. It's too thick. I don't want to actually feel like I'm eating a potato when I'm eating a potato. <laughs> okay. Mm, okay. <laughs> it's a really vinegary barbecue sauce. I subtract one point because the onions are challenging to work through. They kind of slip and slide and like are gonna land all over your face. However, oh, that barbecue sauce. That barbecue sauce could come home with me right now. Wow, incredible. This one's messy. So we have the bourbon blue burger, which is a sweet bourbon sauce, smokehouse bacon, bourbon caramelized onions, and blue cheese. We're about to eat the half pound burger. And before I do, a little fun fact moment is that on Fat Tuesday at participating locations, you can opt in and eat a three pound burger and one pound worth of fries in under an hour and you get a $20 gift card. <laughs> How much does the three pound burger cost and the one pound of fries? Getting the $20 gift card is not even like cutting it close to what you actually had to pay for the actual food. Whatever, you can do that. I'm hoping that this is like the adult refined burger. Thank you, Seth. Mm. Mm hmm I want a glass of red wine with this. The blue cheese in here is really piled high and is a really, really strong blue cheese. You can get some like creamier, subtle ones, but this one is very much like, what's it, like sharp, I would say almost. Do we try the fries of these ones? Same seasoning as the waffle, and again, they're kind of, not even kind of, they are thick cut fries. These remind me of the ones from my cafeteria in high school. I mean, the fry is just a vehicle for me to eat the cheese. That's fair. But I don't hate it. Woo! Last burger, and it is probably the messiest looking, so we need to do it in slow-mo because we need. Because why? Because we Because do. why, Chelsea? Because we do. We are. This is the New Orleans Cajun burger. So it has the Fud Spice seasoned burger and dewy sausage, pepper jack cheese, pepper and onion blend, and we have a tangy remoulade sauce. This one is tangy, creamy, messy, but you know what makes this one probably even better is adding jalapeno cheese sauce. I'm so crazy and wild. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Tater top for the road. Yeah. Alrighty. These also remind me of school lunch, but in a really, really positive way. Fries wise, fries wise, I would get either the waffle fries, the tater tots, or the onion rings. Just depends on your mood that day. 
Round two. Round two. I've never had a hot dog ever from Fuddruckers. I actually didn't even know they had this on the menu. And not that I like torturing you, but... You're not doing me in slow-mo yes, on am. it. So, yes, I am. Well, one, <laughs> you. <laughs> the last thing any woman wants to do <laughs> is do a slow-mo <laughs> shot of a hot dog going into her mouth. That like that lives on the internet forever. <laughs> like, my grandchildren one day are gonna be like, Grandma went to Fuddruckers. The hot dog reminds me of a turkey dog almost. The way that it's way sweeter and lighter than I expected. In a Tums, Pepsid, whatever heartburn commercial you've seen, this is the item that they show the person like looking at and being like, oh! I don't know if I if I would encourage people to order this. I, do, I don't think that that's what you come here for. We have Fudd's Spice Wings, which is Fudd's spice that I was talking about that goes on the burger sometimes and on the french fries. And then we have the Habanero Barbecue Wings. There are wet flavors and dry flavors and dipping sauces. Okay, of the wet flavors, you can get garlic parm, teriyaki, Caribbean jerk, habanero barbecue, Thai sweet chili, buffalo, spicy buffalo, honey buffalo, and honey barbecue. Of the dry flavors, you can get Old Bay, lemon pepper, fudge spice, and ranch. So, fudge spice was kind of the go-to. The Old Bay I was really tempted by, but I, held, I withheld. Alrighty. Oh, you like them. Yeah. It tastes like a, like a really, Super Bowl fast food wing. It's extra fried, extra fatty. Like. Oh, Julia. The shine. <laughs> Sephora who? Just get the wings. Alrighty, these are sticky. I have a trick. Hmm. I eat with, I eat all wings one-handed. So you can have one clean hand. Oh, that is really smart. Yeah. I don't do that. Nope. Yes to the habanero barbecue. Wow. Oh, one second. <laughs> is that the same barbecue that was on our second favorite burger? I think so. Which is why I'm really liking it. Mmm. When it comes to flavors, you're gonna go with wet versus dry just automatically, no matter what. Makes it so it's way more moist and tender, and it's not gonna be as dried out because the dry rub also feels like the meat is dry too. There's just not enough going on. This is juicy, tangy. I would not typically tell you to order wings at a burger joint, but you know what? If you really wanted wings, I, I would not be mad at you if you ordered these. Oh God, it's all in the nails. Wow. These, oh, oh, it's in there. The habanero, it got deep up in that nail. We're not quite done with our burgers. We still got two more to go. This is one of my fun facts. Okay, ready? Fun fact, jazz hands. You can get other burger options than just your beef. You can get lamb, boar, elk, ostrich, and even buffalo. Now, it depends on what location you're at of what they're gonna offer you. Um, the location we're at only has the bison option. I definitely remember there being ostrich on the menu. What? I never ever saw someone order it, but it was an option, so someone's ordering it. Chipotle bison burger. We have this on a whole wheat bun. That's another thing. You can get the regular bun, which is a kind of like a white sourdough-esque burger bun. You can get a whole wheat version. They also have a vegan option and a gluten-free burger, or gluten-free bun. The gluten-free bun costs $2 extra though. If you've never had bison, um, I would say it's a really lean meat and almost reminds me of like a ground turkey sometimes, the way it's a little bit sweeter. Doesn't it look almost like a movie prop? Oh, I don't even get that on camera, but it's juicy. And I'm gonna add cheese sauce to it. This is a great opportunity to use the burger topping station. Add in your lettuce, your tomato, your onion, maybe a pickle, gotta get the cheese sauce. I'm trying these as like, plain as possible, just so we can tell you what the actual flavor of the meat is. I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese sauce and take off some of the bread. This tastes like a comforting home meatloaf burger. Okay, should we try the mac and cheese? This is Kraft mac and cheese, no? It, it, like it totally is Kraft mac and cheese. Ta okay, grab your fork. This is totally Kraft mac and cheese. It has that quintessential like cheese powder flavor. 
That this is like college in a cup. It hits. It's exactly what you want it to be. It's nothing fancy, but we're not asking for fancy. However, speaking of fancy, oh boy. should we talk about the Kobe burger? Let's make sure we feel luxe. Okay. Now, now we're in a whole different vibe. Please play classical music for this part of the video. This is the Kobe burger. Kobe burgers are the, the creme de la creme, the queen cows. Their meat is juicy, marbled, just extra, extra tender. Now that I've hyped it up, let's see if it actually tastes the way I said it does. Have you ever had Kerrygold butter? Yeah. And Kerrygold butter's like uh, the standard. It's really fancy butter. If you haven't had it, it's at the grocery store. It's like in a gold block. And it tastes like there's Kerrygold butter in the burger. Here, try a bite. It's just extra buttery, but it's not even buttery. It's um, the specific, oh. it really does taste different. Like categorically tastes different. And it does taste more like earthy, buttery. For that burger, you don't wanna to add too much to it because you could be gilding the lily and losing that flavor that we're talking about. So I think just adding a heap of the cheese sauce on it, maybe if you want like a tomato situation, but really just keeping it plain and simple because that is just gorgeous, glorious. I am gonna say, I know, you know what? This is actually, I was gonna say the Kobe burger, but I really do like the bison burger more. Like the bison burger feels way more comforting. If you really like your burger meat and you're like an aficionado about it, then get the Kobe burger. If you wanna try something just a little bit different and that's a little bit out of your comfort zone, I really, really recommend trying the bison burger. We are now into our lighter fares. We have some Beyond Burger meat options, some chicken options, and a salad. This is one of my favorite parts about the menu here. There's an entire plant-based section to the menu. So if you are vegan and all your meat-eating friends really wanna to come to Fuddruckers, you're not stuck eating like all of the vegetables up there. <laughs> like you're not just stuck with like lettuce and tomato. They actually have a full menu for you. They make in-house fresh baked vegan bread. And the people who work here were telling us that they actually prefer the vegan bread over the regular bread. We have the Beyond Burger meat, but we also have the bacon and the cheese too, or bacon, cheese, right? The bacon, it almost looks too perfect. It's a little gummy, like a gummy worm, like a bacon gummy worm. Oh my God. I don't mind a bacon gummy worm. It's not, it's not offensive. It's the Hooray brand bacon and cheese on here. And it's really going to be a lot lighter. It's not gonna be as quite as um, like gluey and brick-like that regular bacon and cheese are gonna be like but it really does satisfy you. I don't know if vegans really miss burger flavor. I think there's usually a reason that you are vegan, but if you are wanting that burger flavor, that is an option for you. So this is the Beyond Sausage Hot Italian. We have bell peppers, we have a blend of onions, it looks like red onions and white onions. Don't worry, I won't make you do slow-mo. I was gonna say, don't make me do slow-mo. That, that would be cool, with that many onions. I mean, I'm still gonna punch in really, really close. <laughs> that sausage has a snap. Having a Beyond Sausage with an actual snap like that, that's pretty impressive. To conclude my Beyond Meat burger Italian sausage experience, go for the sausage, it has way more flavor. The bread is a little dry, so I would say add whatever condiment up there. We're gonna move on to our chicken, and we have a Nashville hot chicken sandwich here which is crispy chicken breast tossed with a house-made spice blend and topped with pickle red onions and kosher pickles. Let's go for it. I smelled it before I tasted it. Wow, wow. It reminds me of... <laughs> the heat just... I'm waiting, there you go, now it's going down. It hits, it takes about five seconds to hit, and it just stays. It's a honey sweet 
hot Nashville hot chicken sandwich. The pickled red onions and the pickles on there make this just a little bit fancier and also gets through the heat. This bread, every single bun at every restaurant should be buttered and put on the griddle. We're going to have the avocado crunch chicken sandwich. It's a seasoned grilled chicken breast with avocado, fried onion rings, pepper jack cheese, spinach, and spicy ranch dressing. The onion rings look really gorgeous. And a spicy ranch. I don't know if I've shown this yet, but the plushiness of the bread, it reminds me of a makeup sponge. It's a stress ball. Wow, I'm suddenly de-stressed. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, so I, I've touched it so much. Sorry, I'll eat it now. That's a big piece of chicken. Oh, that spice. It's lingering. Oh, it's like little tiny little daggers <laughs> in the back of my throat. Okay, this wakes you up. I feel alive. I feel like it's a little bit of electricity in my veins all of a sudden. This also, the chicken is, it's a big, big piece. And yet they're still able to make the meat be juicy and tender. That's usually one of my biggest complaints about any kind of chicken breast sandwich is that it just gets really dry and kind of lackluster. And as you're eating it, you're like, I could really go for anything else besides this right now. This is changing my mind about that. I had my heart set on the Nashville hot chicken being my favorite, but I think I have to change my mind. So the chicken tenders here, my main chief complaint is that they don't really break apart. Oh. They kind of just come out of the casing a little bit. Um, maybe, let's see if this one does it. Uh, see, yeah. yeah. We chose three different sauces. You have a honey mustard. We got that coveted cheese sauce and ketchup. We'll do cheese sauce to start because you only live once and Fuddruckers cheese sauce, you need to have it at least once in your life. It's like very standard chicken nuggets. Nothing to write home about. Also, do any of this write home anymore? This is the strawberry spinach salad with seasoned grilled chicken breast, feta cheese, fresh strawberries, red onions, smokehouse bacon bits, and candied pecans. This is why people don't like to eat with me. And there is a method to my madness. I believe every bite should be, ooh, should be perfect and balanced. I want every single bite to be the way that it was intended. I don't like having one bite that's gorgeous, amazing. And then the next bite is kind of shafted because you didn't think about the bite before. You really have to think about each bite. It's almost there. If I ever create a salad restaurant, which LOL, no I won't. <laughs> if I created a salad restaurant, every single salad would come to your table like this. <laughs> and this is the perfect bite. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. <laughs> this strawberry spinach salad is way better than the burger, than the chicken tenders, than the Nashville hot chicken sandwich. This is extremely filling because of the chicken in here. Like they give you, let me even show you. Look how big of a bite of, look how much chicken they're giving you. Oh, oh. there's a, the chicken, it's bountiful in here. Like this is a lot of protein in your salad. When you're coming to a place like Fuddruckers, you're not really coming for a salad. But if you wanted to get something for the table, kind of like an appetizer type thing, I would say getting a salad of this size and being able to split it with about four people, this would be a really, really great starter. As a meal, I think if you're coming to Fuddruckers, you need to get a burger or some sort of burger adjacent thing. I'm not coming for a salad, but it is a damn good salad. Ready for dessert round? Oh my God, get it. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to save the whipped cream. Welcome to dessert round. <laughs> Fuddruckers, besides their burgers, their milkshakes are one of the most quintessential classic things you can get here. I look forward to getting a Fuddruckers milkshake every single time I come. A lot of the times at Fuddruckers, they give you your milkshake and then they give you the metal canister that they make the shake in and give you the leftovers. And it is kind of like 
that extra hospitality part of coming here is that they're not shorting you, they give you the extra. I imagine it's just because we're shooting that they didn't give it to us. We have the Oreo and the chocolate milkshake. They are messy, dripping. Okay, Oreo first. Are you an Oreo girl? Yeah. Love me Oreo. Mm -hmm. So, so thick and almost like glue-like where as you're sucking on the straw, it's barely coming out, which is, I think, a tenant of a really good milkshake. Full dairy, 100% just lactose in the face. Oh no, Julia. <sighs> okay, that's a vanilla base with Oreos added. Like there's a whiff of chocolate, but it's not as chocolatey as I want it to be. If I did an Oreo milkshake, I want a chocolate base, and I think that that just oops it up. So we're gonna try the chocolate milkshake. Try, I've had this like at least 50 times in my life. This is the one. It is, it is the one. Oh God, brain freeze. This is the one. <laughs> I think that if you like more of a vanilla base milkshake, I would get the, instead of just getting a plain vanilla, I would get the one with Oreos in it so you have a little bit more of like a gritty texture. So speaking of chocolate, we have the Ghirardelli brownie in front of us. And this kind of brownie is exactly what I like because look at the crackly top on it. Oh, and it's, it's, ooh, it's soft. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you gotta get, take a little, take a little corner. Uh, grab a little corner. Just go for it. Okay. Just go for it. There you go. Oh. You know what you should do? Put it in the whipped cream. Well, you licked all the whipped cream. Oh, I did. Okay, <laughs> fine. I'll do that. Oh, that's good. It's really cakey, mm. and but also fudgy. It also just tastes like a homemade brownie that, again, like your grandma would make for you, or grandpa. I don't know. Now we have our Reese's peanut butter cookie. It's heavy. It's. It's like um, at least a third pound patty, if not two third pound. Okay, so it's mainly peanut butter with some like really big chocolatey bits on it. I'm gonna go straight for the center. The center of the cookie is the best part. It's like pure peanut butter. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if there's much cookie dough in here. Um, it is so, so moist on the inside because of how much peanut butter there is. And it's almost a little bit crumbly. I think the cookie has a little bit, and it's also has saltiness to it, right? So it has a little bit more going on. If you just want pure chocolate, you know, actually if you want pure chocolate, you should just go for the milkshake. I wouldn't even go for the brownie. That makes you so thirsty though. Oh yeah, I'm. <laughs> Our final item is a homemade Rice Krispie treat. I don't even think we've ever had a Rice Krispie treat at um, one of these restaurants. It's just marshmallow, right? Just marshmallow and Rice Krispies? Yeah. Sometimes just the simplest things do it. That's what I've learned at Fuddruckers today. It reminds me of cereal milk a little bit and marshmallow put together. It's just sticky enough that it gets kind of stuck to your teeth and if you had braces, it would just be a mess. You need to get the chocolate milkshake. It is, it is one of my favorite things on the menu here. Please get it. And I would say either get the cookie to go or the Rice Krispie to go. You're just able to, they have them pre-packaged already, so you can literally just take it, leave it in your car, eat it later. You just live in a Fuddruckers now? Mentally, I am always in a Fuddruckers. <laughs> we didn't have any alcohol today and I feel delirious. Yeah. I feel like more drunk than if I had actually had alcohol. Like, thank God we didn't drink while we were here today. I'm gonna get us two to-go cups for our milkshakes, one for Chelsea, one for me. Maybe I'll get you a new one because I definitely spit all over that one. <laughs> and we are going to get on out of here, drive home. We gotta drive from Virginia back to New York City. It's gonna be quite the road trip. <sighs> all right, let me go get us to-go cups and I will see you outside. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Am I gonna drive my cell phone and you're not coming? You could stay at Fuddruckers in Virginia. You're re I'm really leaving you, all right, okay. <laughs> Sucker. Chelsea, it's the last you'll ever see of me.